All right, so this video is just going to be showing you how to graph circles on your CAS. So you're going to open a CAS document, a graph document like this. I'm going to go menu. I'm going to go graph entry. I'm going to go equation and templates. I'm going to go down to my third options, which is circle. And you'll see here you have your center form and your standard form. You'll almost always use your center form unless a question really necessitates you use the standard form. I come over here. I can put in what my center values will be. Let's have a circle situated 2, 2, and have a radius of 3. Then I go enter, and it draws me my circle. So I could go like this, perfect. There are a few things we can do to analyze our circle. So I could go menu, and I can go analyze. And if I go analyze conics, I can like figure out what my radius is if or whatever reason I didn't know. So here you can see it's telling me that it's a th radius of three all the way around. I could go menu, I could go analyze graph, analyze conics, and I could use, what else could I use? Let's use the center. Oops, I could go to the center and it would tell me that it's two two. Just by clicking on it, it'll stay there. What else could I show you that's interesting? Well, if we go to, if I hit tab, I could enter a new circle, or I could go back and alter my first one. And I could also go menu, I could enter a new line. Let me put a new function in. So 2x, so notice that there are functions and there are relations. So right now I'm putting in a function, a circle is a relation. So I hit enter, and now I have my function drawn. Again, if I hit tab, I can scroll up and see my function. Whoopsie daisy. But I have to click on my circle to get back to my relation. So make sure you don't get tripped up by that. Let me now, so what if you're now tasked with finding your intersection points? Well, there are a few ways of finding your intersection points. I could go menu, I could go analyze graph, and I could just go to, there it is, intersection. And I'm, whoops, what is it gonna require me to do is go click there, and then click again to find my intersection point, which you can do. But let me go Control Z to undo that. Another way you could do it is go Geometry, Points and Lines, and go Intersection Points. You click on this, then you might just have to click on this line. And they, whoop, then I click on this line, click on my two things that I want to find the intersection points, and it just finds them immediately. So if you've got a whole bunch of intersection points, that geometry option is really helpful as well. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. We've learned how to draw circles, how to analyze our circle using the conics function. We then drew a function in and found the intersection points and realized there are multiple ways of finding intersection points. And if you have any questions about your CAS, come find me and we can discuss them. Thank you very much.